Hey, welcome to the first day of Base Dash Launch Week. So at Base Dash, we're trying to build the best tool to view and manage your data. So we currently have two kinds of primitives that let you access data. First is views, which give you a pre-built interface with everything you need to manage your records. So in this case, we have a user dashboard where we can see all of our new signups. We can click into one of our users and see more information about them, as well as take action if we need to. Now, this was generated completely by Base Dash just by clicking on a user table. But sometimes you also need something more complex, and that's where queries come in. With queries, you can write a custom SQL query to get any kind of report that you need from your data. Now, these are really powerful, but the problem is that you need to know SQL to create them. And we think that more people should have access to the power of queries. So today, we're releasing our AI-powered SQL Assistant. So as soon as you create a new query in Base Dash, you'll see right above the SQL editor is this new bar for the SQL Assistant. So we could get started by writing a custom SQL query here, but we can also just ask the SQL Assistant to generate it for us just by describing what we want to see. So let's ask for number of signups per day. We'll hit generate, and then the SQL Assistant has full context of the schema of your database, and so it will translate your natural language query into a SQL query and then give you the data that you need. So this looks good to me. I'm just going to change this to chart layout so we can visualize this a little bit better. And this looks like a really useful chart already. But maybe we only care about the past three months of data instead of all time. What we can do is just ask the SQL Assistant to update this query to match what we actually want to see. So I'll just ask it, only show the past three months. And I'll hit Generate. And so now it's going to take our existing SQL query and then edit it with as few modifications as possible to get the query that we want. And just like that, it added this new where clause to only get the past three months. We'll rerun that, and now we have this updated chart of exactly what we wanted to see. I can hit Done, and now I can share this query with the rest of our team. Now, I'm going to jump to this other query that I was working on before. And here I was running into an error message that I didn't know how to fix. But the new SQL Assistant will automatically translate this weird error message into something that you can actually understand. And I'll do this by reading through the query, looking at your schema, and then generating a better message. And so here it looks like we should be using the having clause instead of our where clause here. So I could go here and, and change this and reorder things and try to fix the query myself. But I can also just ask the SQL Assistant to fix it for me. So I'll click on this button, and now it's going to use all the information it already generated about the explanation for this error message. And then it's going to make as few modifications as possible to fix that query for me. And just like that, it reordered this, changed where to having, and now we can rerun our query. And just like that, this is the data that we want to see. So the AI assistant is really powerful, but we also wanted to make sure that teams feel comfortable giving access to their teammates. So we made three improvements to our permission system to make sure that everyone has exactly as much access as you define. So first, you can only run select statements inside of queries. So it's impossible for anyone to write queries that will delete records or drop tables or do anything else destructive. Second, we also added a new creator role. And so creators can be added to teams to create new views and queries and also edit existing queries, but they can't manage anything at the workspace level. So this is great if you want to add someone to use the new SQL Assistant. And third, we also added SAML SSO so that you can fully control your authentication and make sure that access is revoked automatically whenever someone leaves your company. So that's a wrap for day one of launch week. We're excited to see how you use these new features. Make sure to follow along. We have a bunch of more features that we're going to be launching every day this week.